also I wanted to let y'all know, even though I am in New York City for Fashion Week and I'm having a fabulous time, New York City still remains an absolute shithole. There is trash everywhere. It smells. It stinks. If you go into any sort of pharmacy, if you go to Dwayne Reed, Walgreens, whatever, every single thing is locked up. Are you telling me they really have everything locked up? Up. So you have to have somebody come and unlock every single cabinet if you want toothpaste, you have to get them to unlock that cabinet. Then if you want lotion, you have to get them to unlock that cabinet. Then if you want shaving cream, you have to get them to unlock that cabinet since the illegal immigration situation. Man, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. All right, what's up with this illegal immigration situation? The immigration situation here is absolutely crazy. They're being bussed in to the tune of 10000 per month. There are now in Midtown illegal immigrants everywhere. There are women, children, teenagers, grown adult men that were never here before, by the way, that are just floating around all the time. It remains crowded. There is a COVID tax at the restaurant. The hell's a COVID tax? That was it. Restaurants now. So as if this place was not expensive enough, there is now a COVID tax at every single restaurant. It is more crowded, more dirty, more filthy, and more dangerous than ever. I will never, ever, ever live here ever again. I am ready for Fashion Week to be over so I can get out of this absolute hellhole. So is New York really that bad, y'all? That's what I want to know. I mean, I was thinking, contemplating going there, but shit. I mean, that dude just said it smelled like shit. And then what's up with that tax? Is that a real thing? That's what I want to know. Leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments. Anyone from New York, let me know. Is that is that a real thing, that, that tax? I don't want to say the name because, you know, you get fact-checked for that shit, right?